Hey, what's happening guys? We got a slow boat from China here. And this is all from Alice 110 1983 or TX Huang Electronics, I believe is the actual name of the company. And you can see it comes from Flying Avenue 69, Nanjing Airport Hub, Economic Zone, Jiang Nang Q, Nanjing Jiangsu, China. So let's get to seeing what's in here, right? I mean, that's why we're here. Okay, what's up first? Anybody's guess is a good guess, right? Oh, come on. Ah, these would be my op amps. Let's uh, see if we can bring this up here. Shed a little light on the subject, and maybe you guys can actually see what it says, right? These are supposedly Textus Instruments TL072. These are uh, JFET op amps, dual op amps. I got 20 of them. And uh, let's take a look on the computer. Of course, you can never have too many op amps in your collection. And the uh, TL 072s, I like them. They're low noise, they work pretty good. <laughs> And absolutely no information whatsoever. But 20 of them for a buck 76 sounded like a good idea. So now I have 20 more uh, op amps in my collection. Ah, this is a little kit. It is a uh, little password kit. Mostly SMD. You see some tiny little chips in there. Aye, 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 aye. Let's take a look at it on the computer, alright? This is a uh, just a little tiny kit for two bucks, password lock kit. And the reason I got it is I'm going to have to go kicking and screaming into SMD work, I guess. A <sighs> little bit of information: operating principle. Press S1, U1A equal Q1. Oh boy. Password. Yeah. We will figure it out. According to the above announced password, one four seven nine. Okay, and you can see it works with a uh, flip flop and uh, NAND gate. Other than that, it's just some switches. This it always reminds me of an old commercial. That I think it was from the seventies. It might have been the it might have been the early eighties. And I don't even remember what they were advertising. It, it may have been like a Saturday Night Live thing. I, I can't remember. But it was a Russian fashion show. <laughs> they had this big Russian woman, you know, in her, like, uh, green Russian army uniform thing. <laughs> and the announcer would say, who's next? And she'd go, swimwear. And the lady would come out. She'd be wearing the same thing that the uh, the first lady was wearing. And the guy would go, who's next? And they'd go, evening wear. And to come out, it'd be the same thing. All these different outfits, they all wore the, they all wore the same thing. That's kind of what it's like, I think, with the electronics, you know. It's all the same. It's just different combinations of things, right? Well, this is a uh, microwave radar body sensor. That's what it says, anyway. So, uh, it might be fun to play with for some projects. You notice that's the antenna there. That little squiggle is some serious engineering. I am not an RF guy by any means. When you get into the microwave range, you know, you're talking millimeter precision. All right, let's look at it on the computer. So here is the uh, microwave radar sense module human body induction switch module boy it says a lot doesn't it not much information yeah they don't really say too much here well we will play with it and we will find out more anyway they were a dollar fifty nine each next 
sealed for our protection is an STM32 board. Focus. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, is this what they call the blue pill, I think? Yeah. I don't know much about it, but we'll find out. Should be somewhat Arduino compatible. Construction doesn't look bad. There's only a small amount of flux residue back there. Interesting how they cut out this area under the micro USB connector. Mostly passives here. Hmm. Alright, let's check it out. Okay, here is the uh, STM32F103C8T6 ARM STM32 minimum system development board module for Arduino. Whew, that's a mouthful. 235. Yeah, it's an ARM. It's an ARM32 Cortex M3 CPU, 72 megahertz, 64k flash, 20k SRAM. So you see, this is going to be a 3.3 volt. But that's okay. Cool. Swim there. If any of you guys remember that commercial or skit or whatever the hell it was, tell me where it, where it came from because I can't remember. All right, this is the uh, AT Tiny eighty five. Little this is a little Atmel Arduino compatible doodad, and this thing is super tiny. I don't know if I knew where my scale was, I'd measure it, but I don't, so I can't and I won't. But it's maybe an inch in this thus direction and a three quarters of an inch in thusly direction. Man, them are some tiny, tiny components. Oy vey. Let's look at it on the computer. Computer! Okay, here we have the DigiSpark Kickstarter AT Tiny. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this. It's an Arduino compatible board made by Atmel. Uh, these are a buck eighty a piece. Uh, fully assembled except for the headers. Support for Arduino IDE. Onboard 5 volt regulator. USB. 6 I.O. pins. 8K of flash memory. I squared C and SPI. PWM. That, that's pretty nice analog digital converter on four pins yeah that's pretty cool those are the what one two three four five items for today's slow boat from china and alice never disappoints this stuff came in two weeks beautiful all right i want to thank you guys for watching if you enjoy this sort of thing give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you for watching wouldn't be here if you weren't watching and commenting and you know making suggestions and all that sort of stuff so that being said that's it i'm out peace